CrazyMikeSaps.com with an iPhone app demo for Budget Balance. This productivity app will help you keep track of what you earn, spend, and have as a balance and reports it all in a variety of simple charts. Jumping into the application, we're in the overview screen, which you'll see each time you open the app. It gives you a snapshot of your financial health at any given time. You can change the view by tapping on the calendar in the upper left. And you can also toggle for expenses or incomes by tapping on those tabs. Now we're going to head into transactions where all of the work takes place. This is where all your incomes as well as your expenses are added. There are some filters, type, date, and cost. You can filter all of your transactions and they're in list view currently. Tap on any transaction to edit it at any given time. You can go in and do so. Now again, you can tap on type and it'll turn them up and down and it'll group transactions by income as well as expenses. You can also filter by date. The uh, date today or the date you're on going down to the farthest will go down. And then you can also do cost. You can also use that text bubble to get rid of the date filter. So you have a lot of options in how you want to see your transactions. Now we're going to go ahead and edit a transaction. We're going to edit the first one, which is salary. Tap on there. I added this some time ago. I want to change the end date. The end date's not correct. It shows October 29th, 2012. I want there to be no end date. I'm going to tap on reoccurring down on the bottom left. And I'm going to tap on date none. Tap on the check mark. And I'm going to go ahead and save. Now once I save, it's going to ask me and confirm that I want to change all of the reoccurring transactions. I'm going to say OK. Now all of the transactions that are reoccurring after that will be changed to have no end date. Add a new transaction, tap on the plus sign. We're going to add groceries. Now there are a lot of pre-made categories and you can create as many subcategories as you would like. I'm going to create a subcategory of food and then head down to reoccurring because this is going to be a weekly event for me. Toggle on reoccurring, scroll down to every week with no end date, tap on the check mark. Now I'm going to spend $150 a week on groceries, tap on done. Now I can put my note in. In this case, it's going to be weekly grocery shopping. I'll type it in there so I can have a little note on what this is for. Now you can also add geo-targeting as well as an image to any transaction for more detailed information for any transaction. Now we're going to tap on the reoccurring tab on the bottom right and that just shows us a list view of our reoccurring transactions. Heading into the transactions again, we're going to go up to the upper left and tap on the geolocation. You can have all your transactions mapped once you agree to it. Now let's add another transaction by tapping on the plus sign in the upper right. Here we're going to add an income. Tap on incomes and you'll see the categories. Go ahead and select one. We're going to do stocks. And once we tap on stocks or I tap on stock, I'm going to go ahead and create a subcategory. Again, unlimited subcategories for any transaction. I'm going to list its Apple stock. I'm going to go into the reoccurring. I'm going to put this as every month. Again, you can see all of your choices there and you can also set an end date if you want. I am not going to have one. I'm going to put in the amount of $1,000 and then I'm going to add a note for this as being dividends. So I'm getting $1,000 a month from Apple stock dividends. I can add a pin or geolocation as well as a photo image for this transaction from either my library or camera. Save and once I save it, it goes into my transactions queue in my list and you can see it there on the bottom. I can tap that arrow down to get rid of the sum and you can see stocks Apple. Now the reports are a very helpful tool in this app. They can be ex incomes, expenses, and incomes versus expenses. And they can be seen in three different views or charts. In this case, it's a pie chart and you can scroll through to see the categories. All of the reports can be exported in a PDF through email to share with somebody else or just share to yourself. Now in the settings area, you can change the currency to a large number of currencies, international, month start, you can change that as well, transaction view, overview, reports, transaction recurring for calendar, there's a security passcode you can set and you can back this up to Dropbox, it's integrated. In the help section, you can go in there and you can see it's very well done. There's an image as well as an explanation on all of the different processes and how to use this app. Very easy app to use, especially for a budget manager app. Until next time, Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's Apps saying see ya.